Hello, I'm David Meter, running for re-election to the state legislature representing Keene's Ward 3, which is Cheshire District 6. I'm a lifelong resident of Keene, product of Keene Schools, graduate of Keene State College, and I've lived in Ward 3 for almost 60 years. I've always believed in civic engagement and community involvement, and have displayed that by serving numerous times on the Keene City Council and the New Hampshire Legislature. Um, the city of Keene, state of New Hampshire, this is a great area to live, work, raise a family, get a good ed education. We need to preserve these attributes and assets while at the same time dealing with the same problems facing municipalities and, and states all over America. Obviously, my top priorities in the next legislative session would be putting more resources in the battle against the drug addiction, uh, better solutions to assist that segment of our population facing mental challenges, and how to adequately fund road, bridge, and the critical infrastructure improvements that we need to uh, affect. Um, also a high priority, as it is every year, is devoting the necessary resources to primary and secondary education. And lastly, I think we need to focus more attention on making post-secondary education or affordable for all of those who want to attend. I've worked with uh, many young people over the years, and they've come to Keene, and they go to Keene State College for a year or two, then they are forced to drop out because they can't afford to go any further. And these people are, are good college students, and uh, it's, it's, uh, it's frustrating to see that. And we, we've got to, as a state, devote more attention to making it affordable so that these young people don't go out of state for their education and, then and for their careers. As a forward-looking progressive voice, I'm a member of a legislative body comprised of people from all walks of life, and most of them are dedicated to making New Hampshire a better place to live. It's how we achieve that goal where, where the differences arise. And each of us brings a unique perspective to the lawmaking process. And as part of my deliberations, I like to keep in mind a few key concepts. Compassion, justice, fairness. I think these have served me well over the past, and with voter support, I'll continue to do this for the next two years. So I would urge everyone to get out and vote. The primary election is September 11th. The general election is November 6th. Uh, I can't urge you enough to get out and vote. And um, I, Over the years, I've had several colleagues that have uh, won or lost elections by just a few votes, e even one vote. And um, as, as a good example, um, in 2015, um, 2013, I... Uh, was elected to the city council by just four votes. So every vote does count, and uh, I've got a lot of colleagues that will tell you that, exactly that. So, uh, so thank you very much, and as I say, get out and uh, exercise your uh, right to vote. So thank you.